Okay, so now we are doing today's code contest. Uh, bi weekly 98 it was, right? So let's start with the first problem. Uh, first problem, I would say yeah, it was a slightly a good problem. So today's winner is Indian. Okay, worth mentioning. The next problem. Uh, let's see the first one. You have been given a number, right? Uh, you want to return the difference between maximum and minimum values that you can make by doing something which is remapping the exactly one digit in this number. So pick a digit in this num, right? And <clears throat> and change the digit to something else. For example, let's say one. If you pick a one and you make one equal to zero, if you make all one equal to zero, the number will become eight nine zero. So this is the minimum number that you can get. If you make all one equal to nine, you will get double nine, eight double nine, right? That's the maximum number that you can get. Okay. So you have to basically you know try to form all the possible numbers and then at last you have to return max minus minimum values so yeah it was uh, not i would not say it was a uh, very standard but yeah it was something like you could have you know try you, you could do brute force in this because you know uh, there are only nine characters so you can uh, the possible mappings the total mappings are uh, nine into nine why nine cross nine because there is a case like when you map one with all values from one till nine and similarly then you map try to map two with one to nine and so on up till you map let's say nine with one to nine so that way it is just uh you know you have 89 81 combination so what i did and i is equal to one i is less than not nine but i less than ten i plus plus or obviously this is not end this is character because first i'm converting this uh, number to string to you know or uh, to replace that digit we have to do that so what i did character of i is equal to starting from one i plus plus J plus plus you could say that change your of and you know S this is the character and we are doing ampersand because we are gonna change this character. So C uh, if only if C is equal to equal to let's say I you're gonna say C is equal to J. Now before doing all this manipulation, you need to store the previous string. You would have T is equal to S a temporary string. We'll see the max value and min value, you'll update them, and then you again do S is equal to T. And comma now this is not s this is you know st of i s but instead of doing that you could have just stored it in value variable stoi of s right that was all about it at last you could have written max which is mx minus mn uh this is uh yeah i would say it is a fine problem it's easy still it's fine because because yeah because <laughs> well, eight is the max number so you could have just done that and yeah that's about it i think i plus plus j plus plus value
let's see what is my map oh okay decided in contest also not one you have zero digits from zero to nine so that was the error i don't know why yeah there is not any reason but yeah you just need to you have a habit of starting from one to n no one to nine yeah digits i thought one to nine but it's zero to nine okay uh second problem was very easy actually this is the third problem so both the second and third problem was very easy uh, this was kind of an observation based problem you have been given some array and then you have to return the low plus high the score of low plus the sum of low plus high should be minimum so for that you know if you want sum of two numbers to be minimum l plus h to be minimum your individually l should be minimum your h should be minimum now what is l l is a difference between two numbers let's say n i minus n j um, i minus num j is your you know the minimum value of this and yeah in the maximum value of this also you need to minimize uh, the minimum value of this even maximum value of this so minimum value you will get when you take you know adjacent pairs let's say this is the array give it to you what is the minimum value uh, of l possible basically l is the minimum difference between n two possible right the minimum value of difference between any two what will be the value of l in this case i'm just asking that i'll sort this one four five seven eight right after this c one comma four this is difference is three four comma one one okay so i one is the minimum difference as we can see in this case l is equal to one and high is equal to one minus eight which is seven the current answer is let's say eight but you have an option to do uh, operation and at most two operation you can change any value to any number right change the value of at least two, at most two elements you can change to any number so let's say uh, which element you will choose obviously uh, there is one way that you know you want to minimize this l you can minimize this l into zero by saying let's say this make this four equal to five and it will become that now your high value is still not manipulated because it's a difference between 1 comma 8 so actually the observation which you need to pick up over here is you know your answer can come from 1 comma 5 this is when you will do this equal to 1 comma 1 right you do all the operations over here the next your answer can be you know one between uh currently this was 4 or 7 this was 8 so make 8 is equal to 1 uh your answer can be between uh, what I'm saying. <sighs> between four and eight. If you make this element equal to four, then your answer can be between one, four and eight. Yes. One five and I would say four and seven. You change this to four and you change this to four then you could have you know answer from coming from five so first three values can be helpful so like this value this value and this value and then there are some values and then last three values like n minus three n minus two and n minus one these all values can be when you take one uh, you are saying okay i'm taking one and two and three are obviously you know uh, will give you uh, some minimum values but the answer will come from taking this one and n minus three why n minus three because you are doing operation on these two you are making them equal to one one when they become equal to one one your minimum difference all obviously becomes zero uh, and your answer becomes you know no the thing is all about your h value h value is also not i would not say this is minimized in this case but yeah it is kind of like uh, overall like this is the best we can do but what we could have done we could have you know not change these two value as one one but let's say we change this value to two this could also we have done and uh, this is again two this is three just as it is and this is n minus three n minus one n minus two and n minus one now you change one over here and you change one over here this is also two so this two two will give you l equal to zero and then this is the difference between two and n minus two is the greatest and similarly you will get the difference between 3 and n minus 1 so the answer you are getting this is p when possibility 1 is equal to n minus 1 
not n minus 1, p of n minus 3 minus a of 0. This is the possible one possibility. This is the another possibility is that a of n minus 2. The third possibility will come out as, uh, as you can see from the pattern, a of n minus 1 minus a of 2. These are the three possibilities. You have to pick minimum of them. That was the question. This was observation based problem. To pick minimum of these. So first thing is sort. Uh, n dot begin dot n kar sakte hain. So n ni karenge. Num c kar denge. Thik hai. Because n we want. Or it could have done it v variable whatever. And n is equal to nums dot size. And then um. Done minimum of some things. First thing is a of n minus one minus may a of two you could have done, or you could have done a minus n minus two minus may a of uh, two you could have done, or a of n minus three, sorry one, or you could have done a of n minus three minus a of zero you could have done. This is the other thing, and uh, let's try to see this. A is not defined for sure because uh, now I'm not doing nums, I'm just doing A. Again, observation based problem this was, and this was not observation based. Yeah, it's also kind of you have been given an array and you have to return minimum positive in order to teach it here that is not expressible from nums. So, number that is not expressible by using these numbers you know um, we are creating it kind of you know uh, like binary number we say that integer x is expressible in terms of nums array if there exists some index you know some numbers there like we can use one and two uh but how like by taking all of this in some other words it expressible uh, return bitwise or of some sequence of nums right so basically obviously we are not going to do brute force but uh generating all the subsequence but let's see how we are doing this so this is the array you have d1 what are the what is the minimum number that you cannot generate so let's see which are the numbers that you can generate okay so you can generate two but can you generate one using this no you cannot generate one uh because that is a minimum number now if you see positive non-zero integer one is that you cannot generate one but how is this happening this convert into binary you will get the idea one one is having you are having the one zero one these three numbers you are having right so any number which you can generate will uh, are going from the bitwise or of this so they will contain at least uh, one one from this okay any one of this so if you take bitwise or of let's say only one element then it is going to be one if you take two elements like one one or if you take three elements like one 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 you can generate all this like you know but obviously any number between uh, greater than 8 you cannot uh, generate like you cannot even generate 8 because msb bit is you know like like 1 in this case so yeah which is 4th bit is 1 so 8 bit is 0 and also 1st bit is 0 or not yes 1st bit is also 0 why I am saying this because uh, yeah you, you don't have 1 in this case so that is a thing that you have to do you just need to see all the you know multiples of two that you have let's see you have two so all the multiples of two i think you could have generated right could have generated and obviously three is what you already having four you cannot generate why you cannot generate because the the, the number which is power of two having some special speciality that all numbers are zero there is just one bit which is one so if you have any one of uh, here having this bit one uh, no it's not like that you should have exactly that number okay then only you can generate this number otherwise you cannot generate this number using any square uh, any uh, any of the or because let's say i'm saying that you cannot generate four okay you cannot generate four using this or you can no you cannot but let's say if there was a number uh, 4 is such a number which cannot be generated right using any because it has only one one 
so there would be just one four and it cannot be expressed in terms of two or so a number which can be expressed in terms of two or is let's say one zero one and zero one zero so seven is such a number like one zero zero and zero zero one even if you provide one to this four it will become five so that is the thing you will not say that five cannot be generated because if you have four and one you have five so yeah that's the thing you have to find the so let's say if one you can generate or not it depends on whether you have this one or not because this one is also power of two two raised to power zero is one so if you have one in the array then only you can generate uh, the one otherwise you cannot generate one let's say same goes with two the same goes with two yes if you have let's say two in the array then only you can generate one zero otherwise you cannot generate one zero because it has only one one can you generate three using some numbers actually you can generate three using this two if you have two and if you have one because why because because three has two ones in the i one right so two numbers can help to form three uh three numbers cannot because its length is just two so any one which is having you know one double zero is obviously going to be a uh, answer and then four four cannot be generated by two number five can be generated which is four and one right so we can see that if you have four and one then you can generate five but let's say all the numbers are there like one two three four five is not there so can your answer be four because five cannot be generated no because if you have all the numbers then you could have generated five so let's say if you have one and four then you could have generated five five can never be your answer right because let's say if you don't have one any one of between this one and four because all the numbers like some are primitive numbers primitive numbers are two raised power zero not two raised power zero two raised power x so these are primitive number and any other number can be created by using this primitive number so let's say this in this case <coughs> can be <coughs> can be created by using these two numbers so so if that is possible if uh, this is not possible then that number is also not possible like if these two are not possible then 5 is not possible right but 5 can exist individually so this was the observation for this problem i'm sent to survive i'm spending so much time in this you have to just find uh not find you have to just store all the numbers in set first of all to you know for lookup this set is the lookup set but again then you can you know generate a number while your c uh, c equal to 2 if you have that c then you multiply it by 2 otherwise you will just return c so this is this while loop which will go up till you know numbs i cannot be greater than 10 is per nine. You, you will get some number you know uh, which is let's say yeah not the if even if you have all numbers from 1 to 10 is fine you'll get the next number right so start int equal to c equal to 1 so very simple like log in time solution and where n is just uh, 10 is per 9 so log in 10 is per 3 4 or i don't know what it will go but yeah it will pass uh lookup set okay so set name is lookup dot count c then you have to multiply it by 2 otherwise that is fine you have to just return unqualified id this one is there Whew. let's try to sum this up okay so that's about it we'll do d in the next one okay bye